Hey, Jason from Auto Appraise. Here is a radically unbelievable car, 1951 Hudson Hornet. Let's take a peek and go through it. Let's start underneath the hood so we can close it and show the vehicle off. Firewall's all been custom, smoothed. Inner fenders, same way, everything's welded up. No seams to reveal. Uh, custom built shroud over a Griffin, a big old two core with electric fans added. Low slung street and performance uh, serpentine uh, front pulley setup. That's a 440 uh, mid 70s uh, truck block that's been upgraded, stroked uh, up from 375 up to 415, 55 thousandths over. Single feed 650. AFB, aluminum, Edelbrock, street performer uh, intake, actually performer RPM, engine paint and details done really nice, the car's got a very aggressive rumble, uh, I'd crawl under to show you the 727, but it's too tight to the ground, gear vendor's overdrive unit added, low car shifter set up with that gear vendor's overdrive unit. Uh, manual valve body 2500 stall. We'll hear it run in a few minutes. Sanderson uh, headers into a stainless Flowmaster exhaust system. We'll take a peek at into chrome tips. Nice wide round tips. Hush power, I think, are the Flowmaster setup. The trunk was uh, raised convex fashion, so a plastic. Uh, Dodge Magnum gas tank could be added and pushed up there, setting up there nicely. Rear um, battery with a kill switch. Normally there's air tanks for the suspension that have been removed currently because they're doing a little restoration work on that. Uh, but the trunk's done nicely and painted body color. 15 inch uh, Raider wheel, similar to the original uh, Batmobile wheels. Uh, slightly wider in the rear. Street slicks set up in the back of the car. Bare four-wheel disc brakes added with uh, cross-drilled ventilated rotors. And uh, finished calipers, those look really nice. Let's get into the body and see how much I actually uh, remember and or retain. All the chrome plating's been done, triple plated, done really nicely. Uh, from the factory, this grill had this uh, radius to it but the bumper was a flat straight bumper so the bumper was crowned here in the center and then all welded back together and gives it a really nice matching look the bumper to the grill uh, stock on this car would be squared off panel edges and everything's been radiused really nice 55 Oldsmobile headlight rings fitted into the uh, fenders aftermarket headlights Body is super straight. Looking down the sides of the louvered hood. Top of the roof was uh, chopped. Fabulous work done by a uh, local legendary heroes, the Autons. Dave Auton Jr. and Sr. Father-son combination. They do a lot of the chopping work. Everybody knows them. It's a two and a half inch chop in the uh, front. And the yep. two and a half to yep. two, right? Actually, it drops yep. down to two and a half in the back. Two in the front, two and a half in the back. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. The whole point is it uh, increases the look of that rake, which is really, really subtle but cool. Isn't that great? All custom flat glass was uh, recut and installed in the vehicle. This is actually a stock rear window, but it, because they changed it, it's got a really cool uh, fastback look to it. And they cut down this original wheel, or original windshield rather, two-piece. I cut that down. It's got original markings in it, so it's got a little bit of stone chippage present. Took all these original moldings and cut them down and then show plated them, changed the seals. Really nice work. That B-pillar slanted forward just slightly, radius the top of the door as you can see. Very nice. That would have been straight as well. Uh, original side trim, that's original Hornet trim going down the side of the car, original rocker trim. That's a standard uh, 
three-piece bumper for a Hornet that was all welded up, made into one piece. They added uh, 55 Chevy bumperettes along with a 49 Chevy uh, override bar. So look at the way that thing fits. 39 Lincoln Zephyr tail lights. Bad to the bone. So the mirror has been deleted. Door handles deleted. Those wheel openings in the back, uh, those are nothing stock at all. They've been uh, radius opened up smooth so you could get to see those big fat Batman wheels. The hood ornament's a little unique. It kind of looks like it belongs but it doesn't because it was really a fender spear that got remade out of lead and then sent out and plated so uh, and highlighted with the body accent color. That's a nice little subtle detail. That's just really cool. It's a great car. A very straight low rider look. Let's peek under it. It's a Fat Man uh, front stub section set up with the Mustang 2 manual rack and pinion. Everything underneath has been nicely finished. Brakes are in great shape. Suspensions low, low. It's going to be hard to get a good under view of the body, but uh, it's set up with all new sheet metal underneath. Uh, Hudson floors were sumped from the factory so the seats would sit lower anyway but you can see all the workmanship's done really really nice exhaust is tucked up there super tight routed nicely slight texture put in the body single stage paint down below front stub was done nicely well-built car. I don't think I can get under and show the bottom of the engine or trans. There's a little bit of view for the audience. Exhaust system tucked in there nightly, nicely. Uh, no oil on the ground. Inside of the car is a real treat. Custom-built door panels. Real light gray aftermarket uh, seats. Custom built console. There's still some stuff in there. He's got the AC head removed right now, getting some service work done on it, but all those lower panels are custom built to hide the AC controls and the speakers. Fitted real nicely. Everybody knows what that is, right? 59 Chevy steering wheel, tilt column. This is what my favorite feature of the whole car is. Wish I could get some more light on you to show this. Guess what I can. All right, musicians, tell me what that is. Pretty cool feature to add. Classic instrument gauges. Holes were all welded up where the gauges normally go. That's a stock dash top, except the chrome uh, added to the speaker cover and the leather added. That glove box door is basically the only stock component of the uh, the dashboard that's recognizable. Uh, Paintwork was done really nice all the way throughout the interior. Stock bench seat in the back. Speakers added. Trim tag uh, VIN in place as it should be. Quick look under the back end before we uh, fire it up. There's that plastic tank fitted in there nicely so you're not hanging on the ground. Uh, oh, eight and three quarter rear end. What's the gear ratio on this? 391. 391, okay, so we got an eight and three quarter with a 391. Posi. A posi to boot. Nicely uh, constructed rear components. You can see where those perches were moved in, airbags were added. Fully adjustable. I know that light's not giving us a good view. All right, let's fire this thing up and listen to it go. That's what I want to hear. The owner had to decide between having uh, wipers or a power brake booster hidden up under the dash. And he only had space for one, so guess what he chose? He has got a power booster assist nicely hidden 
to operate the disc brakes. All right, I'm gonna have them take off so I can uh, get a hear on, uh, get a listen to what's going on. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. I'm finishing up an inspection and appraisal today, 1951 Hudson Hornet. If you need inspection service, let us know, 800-301-3886. Thanks for hanging out today.